This is Christopher Puente's record. He's been arrested 13 times since 2006 for crimes ranging from burglary to forgery. And now we know he never should have been in the U.S. He was first deported to Mexico in 2014. Five days later, he used a fake birth certificate to cross the border in Brownsville, Texas. He was caught, charged and ordered to appear in court, but never did. And again in 2017, a judge ordered him removed from the U.S., but he remained. And now Immigrations and Customs Enforcement is saying the sexual assault could have been prevented if Chicago wasn't a sanctuary city. And that's created a shouting match between Chicago's mayor and Chicago's ICE office. Chris Ty is in our control room with the heated back and forth. Chris. Brad and Erica's Chicago's ICE office is blaming Chicago's City Hall for what they call irresponsible lawmaking. Tonight, Chicago's mayor is pushing back and doubling down. We have to make sure that our police department is seen as a legitimate force in all communities, and we cannot do that if we're participating in, in raids with a weaponized and politicized ICE. We're not doing that in Chicago. The mayor conveyed that blunt message to the local ICE boss last week, not over the McDonald's rape case, but the arrest of Julio Torres earlier this month. Why now? You know, why come and take him like that. It was ICE's decision to take him into custody as he dropped his daughter off at school that angered the mayor. They shouldn't do things that are traumatizing young children. That's not acceptable. And I was very, very clear and blunt about that. How is that right? ICE has a sensitive location policy, preventing arrests at houses of worship, hospitals and schools. The Torres arrest was just off school grounds, so the office director here says it was clean. I'm not going to get into the specifics of any particular case. I will say that I do support my officer's decisions. He says Chicago's sanctuary city status does more to protect criminals than the public. The Puente case at McDonald's a prime example. If the city of Chicago would honor immigration detainers, that sexual assault would have never occurred. Tonight, Puente is in custody. <laughs> Torres facing deportation and Chicago's mayor prepared for future fights. Chicago Police Department will not cooperate with ICE on any immigration related um, business and that's affected their ability um, to conduct immigration raids across the city. But that's exactly our intention. That shot across the bow by the local ICE leader, which frankly is not something we see very often, was uttered because he tells me the city was distorting reality over how they really do their job. The mayor pushed back on that too, saying if ICE is upset, they should do their job better. Live in the control room, Chris Ty, CBS2 News.